What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I'm going to reach into this bucket of locks I got from Bobby Keynes. Pull one out at random here. What do they got? Fred Flintstoner, Spools, number two. Alright, let's check this guy out. It's kind of an experiment here. I haven't picked a lock in about four days, and uh... Been really busy around the house. I got a bunch of um, and at work. <laughs> I got a bunch of videos in the can, but uh, I thought I'd have this uh, opportunity to just pick one while I'm rusty, just to see how how much you suffer after not picking for a few days. So, of course, got a nice bidding there. So this is going to be a fun one. Um, top of the keyway. I'll try this guy out here. <clears throat> sure I'm in frame. Yeah. All right. Let's give this thing a shot. Lots of play here, so obviously spools, like the lock says. So it's hard to get under the deep cuts in the back here. I might have to choose a shallower pick. When I do get under, uh, a couple picks, pins that don't want to move there. That was five. Four doesn't want to move. I set three last time. There's two. Give me a tiny bit of rotation. Maybe it's one actually. There we go. <clears throat> Not too, too bad for being uh, a little rusty, but it is a lock with a lot of feedback. The uh, problem I was having mainly was getting this deep hook or deeper style hook in the back of the lock. Um, Should have went for something a little slimmer, but yeah, I made it work. Let's get some tools on here. Everything's kind of all over the place. go I'm gonna lock it up but I have a key if I do so not a big deal there we go Get a shim. I think this might be my first Fred Flintstoner lock as well. Very cool. We have plugged uh, construction holes, which is always good. I see core work already. A nice uh, key pin, T pin with a knob on the end. Looks like an overset trap I did not fall into, thankfully. All right, lots of work done on the core. We'll go over that in a sec here. Let's just get everything out. And like the name would suggest, we got spools. Nice sharp ones. 
with uh, serrations on the end too. Very cool. It's a Stanley cut pin, that's what I like to call them. It's basically a step spool. Um, oops. Five came rocketing out. This is spring out of four. That is five and three. All right. <clears throat> Top we have threading in three. And that's it. In the Bible, we or sorry, in the plug we have. Uh, Appears to be counter milling on one, two, four, and five. Yeah, counter milling on uh, one, two, four, and five. And threading on three to match the threading in the Bible. That's for the core. Now let's check out the pins. We got. Nicely serrated pin on one, and another uh, kind of micro serrations there on two. Very nice, deep um, key pin, T pin with a knob on the top. That'd be like an overset trap. Um, so nice serrations on four, and another nice wide serration on five. In the Bible, we had uh, a nice deep spool on one, and you can see there's a little bit of a serration on the bottom there. Two is more pronounced. We have a serration at the top and a serration on the bottom. Spool portion. This is our stepped spool or Stanley cup pin I like to call it. If you look upside down it looks like a Stanley cup. We have another uh, very very sharp spool. Very thin sharp spool. And same as number five. So, and very springs up in the top. So very cool. Uh, Fred Flintstone or for second lock is a lot of fun to pick. Uh, anything with a lot of spools in it is always a lot of fun to pick. A lot of feedback and uh, we, we like that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks, Fred Flintstoner, for uh, pinning up this lock and sending it out to the community. And thank you, Bobby Keys, for sending it to me. Later, guys.